This is one of our read and play stories. The Three Little Pigs. And this is how you puzzle tale. Look carefully at all the pictures and as you read the story, on every page there are things to find and puzzles to do. We are the three pigs pet guinea pigs and we'll be there to help you. There are three more groups of three hidden somewhere in the story. Look carefully on each page and see if you can spot them. Three ducks three blind mice, three wheels. And here is the evil troll. He shouldn't be here, but he's hiding on one of the pages. Try to spot him. I'll be safe in this story. No goats. Three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, their mother said to them, You are old enough now to leave home. Out you go into the big, wide world. But beware of the big, bad wolf. He is always on the lookout for tender young pigs to gobble up. And then she said, Goodbye. The first pig was lazy. He wanted to build his house quickly so he could play. And he used straw. More straw! The second pig took longer to build his house and he used twigs and planks of wood. Wood is good. The third pig had a much better idea. He used bricks. Cement to mix and stick my bricks. I wonder who's going to be coming along this path. Then came the big bad wolf. He could smell the pig in the straw house. His tummy started to rumble. He got off his motorbike and he knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, please, will you let me in? He asked very politely. But the little pig remembered his mother's warning and replied, No, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. Go away. So the wolf shouted, and I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And he did, he huffed, and he puffed, and that's what he did. And there was straw blowing around everywhere, and the little pig was just sitting on his kitchen stool, he just got from Argos, and there was the wolf. The terrified pig squealed and dashed away to his brother's house, built of twigs. Poor wolf. He was very hungry. And he was a bit angry as well. So he went to the second pig's house, knocked on the door, of his wooden house and said little pig little pig let me in but the pig shouted 
No, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. So the wolf shouted, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Then he huffed and he puffed and he did indeed blow the house down. The terrified little pig squealed and dashed away to their brother's brick house. There was twigs and there was bits of wood and tools and everything just flying around. Poor wolf. Trying to chase the pigs in the darkness, he tripped over some sharp twigs and he was covered in splinters and he was going, ow, ooh, ow, ow, ooh, ow, ow. And he was still hungry. So he limped to the brick house, knocked on the door. Once again he pleaded, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the pig said, No, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. The wolf shouted back, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But he could not blow the house down. The thought of the three juicy little pigs behind the door made him hopping mad. So mad that he hopped up onto the roof and stuck his slobbery snout down the chimney. But the soot made him sneeze and he shot down the chimney head first. At the bottom he landed very neatly inside a wolf-proof crate the little pigs had made. Snap! went the lock and the little pigs put on some music and they started dancing around the wolf. The three little pigs cheered, hooray, and danced round again the trapped wolf. But in the end they took pity on him and carried him off to the animal hospital. And that's where got the treatment he deserved and the little pigs eating his grapes changing his TV channels plumping up his pillows and there was a few more animals in there that got things wrong with them as well but that version of the three little pigs just a little bit different and if you were doing a story you could do that. You could take a story you knew and you could change it around a bit. And that's how this one ended.